We are now just days away from an exciting opportunity for a group of young writers turned authors here in Richmond. Earlier this year, 10 students put their imagination to work writing their own children's book. On Friday, there's a special event where all of them will be on display. In this week's Building a Better RVA, Makia Turner takes us inside the world of the Richmond Young Writers and how it's helping the youth find their voice. Every year, the animals of the jungle had a talent show. When you step into this room for the Richmond Young Writers, a creative writing workshop that offers summer and after school programs. And we work on fiction, creative nonfiction, poetry, screenwriting. He hated the talent show and wanted to stop it. You're entering a world led by imagination, and for some, an inner voice that's discovered right here. It's a combination of finding the voice, but also finding who you are and how to say it. Guiding each writer like Imani Edwards. Wouldn't it be better, he hissed, if God made you all monkeys? Through the process. When Seth slithered up. Who too discovered her true self in a similar safe space. One primary thing that happens in this room is that young people locate parts of their identity that are then reflected back to them and affirmed. And that really cranks up the voice. They weren't brave and couldn't roar like a lion could. After years of homeschooling, just be who you are, he called, but the animals did not listen. Edwards, who just entered a new chapter of life as a college freshman, says the program has helped her blossom as a young author who fell in love with storytelling as a little girl. The zebras were trying to be tall like the giraffes. She recalls making her own paper booklets filled with storylines about confidence and self-love, hoping to boost those feelings in readers. It feels really good um, because I'm able to, through a simple story, impact people in a positive way. I like writing about animals, basically, and turn it into actions that people would normally do, except um, show it to little kids in a way that um, basically would influence them. Edwards now just days away from the release of her second book. My book is called Good Enough. An opportunity granted under the workshop's picture book project. Each spring, the eight-week program challenges a group of young writers to write a children's book. The stories are then handed to local artists for illustration, then published in the fall. This year's book launch featuring meet and greets with the authors and reading circles for kids is happening Friday at Elwood Thompson's. For every book purchased, a portion of the proceeds will go toward the workshop scholarship. Fund. We are so thrilled. We have 10 new books and a special project called Book of Legends that's a collaborative book that was written by multiple students. A collaborative effort that started by turning deep thoughts into pages of inspiration. I feel that I'm a steward of that experience. I take it very seriously and I try to put lots of things in place here to make sure that everybody does feel heard. Helping students like Edwards illuminate their own special message to the world. I want them to take away the fact that writing can heal and it can help people. Makia Turner, NBC 12 News. Boy, how cool is that? The book launch is Friday, October 7th at Elwood Thompson's. As Makia mentioned, it's specifically in the Beat Cafe and on the Markets patio. It's from 5 to 7.30. The books will be sold online for a limited time only. You can find more information on NBC12.com.